Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So far, six problems have completed on allowances. The problems on allowances. In the last video, I've explained you about entertainment allowance and house rent allowance. In this video, three more problems I'm going to explain on HRA exemption under section 1013A. So 7th, 8th and 9th, these three problems I'm going to explain. So before starting that, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Without having the problems, you cannot understand. Now take a screenshot of the points which I have written, then I'll explain. Come on, see the seventh problem. Sri Surujan Kapoor is an employee of a limited company at Jamshedpur. Is in receipt of 44,000 as basic pay, 18,000 as dearness allowance, forming part of salary for all retirement benefits. And rupees 6,000 as city compensatory allowance, CCA. Rupees 8,800 as accommodation allowance. Accommodation allowance is nothing but house rent allowance rupees 12000 as entertainment allowance he is paying a monthly rent of 1500 an electricity bill of the house at a flat rate of 300 rupees per month he is paying the rent then he will be he will get exemption under section 1013a hra exemption but electricity bill should not be considered it is the amount paid for getting the services of electricity so it should not be considered while calculating HRA exemption. Determine the amount of HRA exemption under section 1013A. So before giving the exemption, first of all, we have to see the eligibility. Eligibility is the SSC must pay the rent. If the SSC is paying the rent, then only exemption will be allowed. Here he is paying the rent, so exemption is allowed. Now secondly, we have to see where he stays in four metropolitan cities or other towns. Here it is given Jamshedpur. It comes under other towns. So 40% of salary. So first of all, you should write the sentence. The SSC is paying the rent and stays at Jamshedpur. So HRA exempt is exempted to the least of the following three. First one, actual HRA received. In the problem it is given, the accommodation is say 8,800 as accommodation allowance. So 8,800 is the HRA receipt. Now rent paid minus 10% of salary. So rent paid is given in the problem as 1,500 per month. So 1,500 into 12, 18,000. 10% of salary. Salary means basic pay only. But DA will be included if it enters for retirement benefit. So if only DA is given, you should not consider. If DA is given and along with that it enters for retirement to benefit, we must take into account. So here DA is entering dearness allowance forming part of salary for all retirement benefits. That means we should include DA also. The basic 44,000, DA 18,000. The 44 plus 18, 62,000. The 10% of 62,000, 6,200. 18,000 minus 6,200, 11,800. Thirdly, 40% of salary for other town and 50% of salary for four metropolitan cities. If the SSC stay in Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai or Kolkata, you should take 50%. Other than these four towns, 40%. So here Jamshedpur, other town, 40% of salary. 40% of 62,000, 24,800. Now whichever is least among these three is exempted. So 8,800, 11,800 or 24,800? 8,800 is the least. So ultimately, HRA exempted under section 1013A is 8,800. Finished. This is the seventh problem. Now, eighth problem. Muhammad Yusuf Khan is an employee of a public sector unit in Hyderabad. He draws a monthly salary of 4,800, HRA 1,600, DRS allowance 1,000. 
he is entitled to 2% commission on sales. The sales target achieved by him is 5 lakh. The house rent paid by him is 1100 per month. Dearness allowance and commission enters for retirement benefit. Compute the amount of HRA to be included in salary income and gross income from salary. Again, in this problem, two more new points we come across. First new point, commission. For computing HRA exemption, we need salary. Salary means basic pay only. DA will be included if it enters for retirement benefit. And commission if it is based on fixed percentage on turnover. Remember this point. Many students will commit the mistake in calculating the meaning of the term salary. So always keep running notes, keep a notebook, calculator, pen ready while watching this video. Immediately you should note down the important provisions what I am explaining. So salary means basic pay only, DA will be included if it enters for retirement benefit and commission if it is based on fixed percentage on turnover. Here in this problem, DA is entering and commission is also based on fixed percentage on turnover. So first we compute salary for HRA exemption. So basic salary 4,800 per month into 12, 57,600. DA 1,000 per month into 12, 12,000. Because DA is entering into retirement benefit. That's why we are taking. Commission 2% on sales. Sales is given 5 lakh. So 2% of 5 lakh, 10,000. So total salary is 79,600. This we should consider for calculating HRA exemption. Now the SSC is paying the rent and stays at Hyderabad. Hyderabad comes under other town. So again we should take 40% of salary. <coughs> HRA is exempted to the least of the following three. Actual HRA received, it is given in the problem 1600 per month into 12, 19,200. Rent paid minus 10% of salary. Rent paid is given in the problem 1100 per month into 12, 13,200 minus 10% of salary. Here salary already we have calculated 79,600 into 10%, 7,960. 13,200 minus 7,960, 5,240. Now 40% of salary, 40% of 7,960. 31,840. Least among these three is 5,240. It is asking you what is a taxable HRA, not exempted HRA. Exempted HRA is 5,240. Taxable HRA, we have to calculate. How much is the actual HRA received? 19,200. So actual HRA received 19,200. From this, deduct the exempted HRA. Exempted HRA is 5240. Deduct 13,960 is the taxable HRA. That's it. First part we have completed. Secondly, it is asking you to compute gross income from salary. So under gross income from salary, we take salary, commission, allowances. That means dearness allowance and taxable HRA. So computation of gross income from salary. Basic salary 4800 into 12, 57600. Commission is 2% of 5 lakh, is 10,000. Then comes allowances. Under allowances, dearness allowance, DA, 1000 per month into 12, 12,000. And taxable HRA, just now we have calculated 13,960. So total gross income from salary is 93,560. That's it. This is the ninth problem. Now, uh, that was the eighth problem. Now we are coming to the ninth. Find out the amount of house rent allowance, HRA, which shall be included in the income under the head salary in each of the following cases. So in ninth problem, we are given A, B, C, D. Four cases are given. In each case, we have to find out how much is the taxable HRA. So first we need exempted HRA, right? So A point, basic pay, 10,000 per month, HRA 2,000 per month, EA 3,000 per annum, dearness allowance 15% of basic, actual rent paid 2,000 per month in Guntur, other town, so again 40%. So first you should write the sentence, since the SSC is paying the rent and stays at Guntur, so the HRA is exempted to the least of the following. 
three amounts. First one, actual HRA. Actual HRA is 2000 per month. So 2000 into 12. 2000 into 12, 24,000. Second is rent paid minus 10% of salary. The rent paid is 2000 per month. So 2000 into 12, 24,000. 10% of salary. Here salary means only basic. DA we should not include because DA is not entering for retirement benefit. If specifically given in the problem DA enters for retirement benefit, then only we should take. Otherwise, if only DA is given, ignore. We take only basic. The basic is 10,000 per month into 12, 1 lakh 20,000. So 10% of 1 lakh 20,000 is 12,000. 24,000 minus 12,000, 12,000. 40% of salary, 40% of 120 is 48,000. Least among these three is 12,000. Exempted HRA is 12,000. But we need taxable HRA. So actual HRA received 24,000 minus exempted HRA 12,000. So remaining 12,000 is the taxable HRA. That is the A bit. Now B bit. Basic per 16,100 per month. DA 18% of basic and HRA 20% of basic rent paid per month in Nagpur is 4500 per month again the SSC is paying the rent and stays at Nagpur so HRA is exempted to the list of the following three first one actual HRA received 20% of basic basic is 16100 per month so 16,100 into 12, you will get 193,200. So 10% of 193,200 is 19,320. 54,000 minus 19,320, 34,680. That is the actual, uh, sorry, rent paid minus 10% of salary. Now 40% of salary, 40% of 193,200, 77,280. Which is the least among these three amount? Second one, 34,680. So actual HRA received 38,640 minus exempted HRA 34,680. So 3,960 is the taxable HRA. Be bit completed. Now see it. Monthly emoluments. Basic pay 7,800. DA 2,000. CCA city compensatory allowance 1,500. House rent allowance 4,000. All these are monthly. He pays, he is paying a monthly rent of 2,500 in Delhi. So Delhi is a metropolitan city. So here 50% we should take, not 40%. First you should write the SSC is paying the rent and stay, stays at Delhi. So HRA is exempted to the list of the following three. First, actual HRA received 4,000 per month into 12, 48,000. Rent paid minus 10% of salary. Rent paid 2,500 per month into 12, 30,000. Minus 10 percent of salary. Here only basic will take. DA is not entering for retirement benefit. Don't take. 7,800 into 12. You will get 93,600. So 10 percent of 93,600, 9,360. 30,000 minus 9,360, 20,640. Next one, 50 percent of basic, 50 percent of salary. So 50% of 93,600, 46,800. Least among these three is 20,640. So actual HRA received 48,000 minus exempted HRA 20,640. So deduct, you will get 27,360 is the taxable HRA. That's it. Now D point. Yearly emoluments, yearly remuneration. Basic pay 2,80,000. House rent allowance 63,000 HRA. Then DA 90,000 enters for retirement benefit for, of gratuity only. Rent paid is 2,500 per month. Actually, where he is paying the rent, not given. So we'll make the assumption other town. Whenever the city where the SSC lives is not given, we assume other town. So 40% we should take, right? DA entering for retirement benefit. So basic and DA both will be included, both will be added. So here actual HRA received is 63,000 given in the problem directly. Rent paid 2,500 per month into 12, 30,000. 10% of salary. 
salary means basic plus DA. Basic 2 lakh 80,000, DA 90,000 because DA is entering for retirement benefit. We add up. So 280 plus 90, 370. So 3 lakh 70,000 into 10%, 37,000. Now a new point has come. 30,000 minus 37,000. You are getting minus 7,000. Then 50, 40% uh, 40 of salary, 40% of 3,70,000 is 1,48,000. Now the new point is, one of the above three amount is negative. Income Tax Act has given the provision. If any one of the three amount comes to negative, no exemption will be given under section 1013A. No HRA exemption will be given. Actual HRA received is fully taxable. How much actual HRA received? 63,000. So complete 63,000 is fully taxable HRA. No exemption will be given because one of the amount is negative. That point you should avoid. That's it. So in this video, three problems have completed. That is 7th, 8th and 9th. Inshallah, we will continue the next problem in the next.